poor miso. Off he goes. And what you know? On the road, he sees a bag full of expensive jewels just hanging there on a tree branch. Stranger still, Miso decides to leave it for now because in his simple mind, the tree will grow more jewels like fruit. Now, what do you think? Was that very wise of him? Later on, he meets a very anxious man looking around for his bag of jewels. Trying to be helpful, Miso tells him he had just seen one such bag, but that it was just the still growing fruit hanging on a tree, so he had left it behind for more bags of jewels to grow. The jeweler is dumbfounded and can't believe anyone could be so simple-minded. Miso, on his part, just cannot understand his folly. No matter how the jeweler explains that jewels don't in fact grow on trees. Frustrated, the jeweler gives Miso a sound thrashing. Poor simple Miso. I'm feeling a bit bad for him, aren't you? continues on in his quest. It starts to get dark and Miso's tummy is rumbling with hunger. Tired and starving, he decides to make the best of it and try and get some sleep. Suddenly, the devil appears next to him. He looks quite scary and Miso gets a huge fright. 
the devil demands in a booming voice. What in the hellish blazes are you doing here in a place where even the birds don't fly? Close on the devil's heel, Mrs. Devil appears and joins in on the interrogation. Timid Miso answers, I'm simply looking for a job working for the devil because, because my owner, I mean, my wife said so. Surprised, amazed, and amused, the devil and his wife invite Mizo home where he can be their servant for three days. Three days, not too long you think, but down in hell it is equal to one whole year in the real world. Miso is a bit afraid of the devil but he is far hungrier and sleepy. And so, out of options, he accepts the devil's offer. It's now the second day in the devil's house. The devil orders Miso, go and get some firewood because even hell can get cold without a good fire. Miso the simpleton can't even see the top of the giant trees and is too anxious to make a scratch on the trees with a huge axe. 